Good morning. I can definitely see a baby fry in there. It's dark color. Where did it go? It was just there. It was dark, like almost black. Um, there it is. There it is. See? Or is it red? That is a rainbow fry. That is so super tiny. Yeah, that's the same size as the one in the other tank. All right, so check this one out. I think it's the same color too. But this one has a more light, so you can, yeah, it's like reddish color. So we have two rainbows. Yes, maybe even more. I hope there it is. I think there's a much smaller one in the back. This one is feeling big enough to come out front. There it is. See, I lost it again. But, yes, yes. Ah, excited about that. When there's one, there may be two or three or four, I don't know. We just, my husband just moved this big mop from over here with those, that rainbow papa and his uh, two females, I think, are very active. And um, they do a lot of, oh, that's a glare, do a lot of um, egg laying. So move that mop to this side. So I'm hoping we'll have more. Okay, now that that fish there, I that's a guppy. I need to move him out. I put him there by mistake, thinking this is gonna be the fry tank. But no, Robert said no, my husband said no. So I have to figure out how to get that guppy out of there one of these days. And leave this for whatever baby rainbow fry will hatch from these mops that we move back and forth okay so then another update I, I go ahead and film this this used to have a bunch like maybe several hundreds of uh, shrimp which um, died because I think that filter there it didn't ha and had a it had a huge ball of um, plant but it, cr it it totally stuffed that filter where there were no uh, there were not enough bubbles coming out therefore less oxygen so the fish the fry the the shrimp fry they just died there may be about 50 or maybe something like that left here at least there are some survivors we were able to correct the problem which uh, you know, Robert uh, changed, uh, took out the extreme vegetation, changed water, cleaned the tank, fixed the air filter. Now we have um, lively f shrimp moving around. Before they were so sluggish. I mean, you could just pick them up and they wouldn't move. They wouldn't even try to jump away. So, and so that's the big ball of vegetation that fit in that small tank now it's up here and our thread fins are loving it and when we moved it there were also some shrimp that uh, were stuck in the vegetation like I said they could not really move but now we have transferred up above not only the moss but a lot of shrimp so I'm expecting a, an explosion of shrimp if we keep this tank up, monitor it really nice. And I think hopefully the thread fin will propagate somehow, lay eggs. I don't know if they're egg layers or live bearers, or whatever. But whichever the case may be, the fry will have plenty of places to hide. Besides, the thread fin can't eat anything bigger than a little, little bit of morsel anyway. So it's just going to be shrimp and thread fin. 
and snail and maybe a plico here and there in the future. So that's the update on this tank. So that's the situation, that tank. And then we have the blue uh, shrimp with uh, Cory cats. Cory cats, they have um, actually laid eggs and we have not been successful in, in making them hatch because we keep moving them. So I think there were two, the last two that were that were laid, we left them alone in this tank. So we don't know if that little fry, we're not really that sure yet, if that little fry out there is a quarry or one of the rainbow eggs that could have been laid in the in this plant when we transferred it from this side, okay? to this side so that little fry I don't know if a quarry fry um, swim like that or do they like stay in the ground like the parents do so yeah that is a, a little bit of curiosity there we are quite curious to see if that is a rainbow indeed either way we will be happy and so now we have um, oh yeah this quarry hatched from an egg we suppose in this tank because there were no quarry cat we didn't put anything there uh, several months ago when we moved some vegetation like that and one of these into that tank all of a sudden we found a quarry cat a baby one and so we figured it hatched from an egg and we didn't want it to be by itself so we moved it to this tank so now we have like three kind of catfish in here um, I don't know if they will all I don't know crossbreed but anyway that's the situation <laughs> we also have blue shrimp in here which we're hoping will um, have babies soon. I don't know how long. Um, we have not. I have not been feeding them quite as much as I used to because when those other fish, or no, sorry, the shrimp died off from that tank, I thought it was me overfeeding them because I do feed them like crazy. Come to find out, I was feeding them just fine. It was just that the air and the water quality was not up to par and that's how they uh, got sick so I have backed off a little bit on my feeding these things um, I am a gardener and I like to grow things and um, I feed and feed and feed uh, in the ground you know it's okay you can water your plants but and the ground uh, is more forgiving when you overfeed but not in shrimp tanks and certainly not in fish tanks as well so we shall see I'm really curious to know um, how these little things will um, thrive now that we I hope have gotten our water situation quality better so um, there are two puff puffy fish or sweet oh I don't know what you call them puffer fish in here with two gourmies we only have a pair of gourmies left I don't the others perished um, I we had to dose them with some kind of healthy food maybe he had some intestinal problems and so that's this here I don't feed him as much as well this is the uh, experimental tank where we had one female guppy, that one with a yellow tail, really super healthy. And there were three males. And now all the babies. So now I have to figure out, I have to remove some of these, maybe all of these guppies, babies guppies, put them somewhere because um, I'm gonna keep breeding a certain pair. So we need another set of fish tanks. 
aquariums. That's the deal. Now here is the male, all male guppy, inler guppy tank. The idea was to separate all the male guppy tank, uh, all the male guppies and do not breed any of the, oh, I think I see a female in there. I need to remove, oh, well, no, I'm not sure. Oh, no, no, it's a male. You know, it's weird. These guppies, even though they're all male, they're acting weird. Acting very weird, like they're posing and posturing in, in front of other males and they chase other males and uh, very weird. So I'm trying to keep any females from, from this tank. And if I do see a female, I will remove it. But this should be all male. Now all the females were placed here. And then one day I was in my big tank and I saw that old guppy with a big tail. And I thought, you know what? He can't catch even a female in my 75 gallon tank because he's just way too slow and there were other fish that were so fast. So I thought, you know what? Before you, before you keel over, I would like to give you a chance to breed and propagate yourself. So I dropped him into this tank with all the 30 females, okay? 30 females and one old at first, only him. And then I saw that he just can't keep up with his females. So I decided I would like to have some fry that have his characteristics, you know? But he just can't do it. So I went ahead and pulled all the little antler guppies that have red and black coloring. And I placed them here. And we have like about four little male antler guppy that are red and black. So they are here in this tank with all the female guppies they can ever wish for. All right? Um, so the idea is to breed black and red guppies, right? I don't know if it'll be successful. We shall see. But I would love to get one of those guppies from this breed, from this, this pool. The guppy that has the Dumbo fins, for some reason, I really like that idea. And it seems like the black and the red are very prominent they come out a lot quicker. I mean, they're more apparent. So the fins seem to have black in some of these guppies. So I'm trying to grow that out. Um, so am I being selective? Is this selective breeding? Uh, it's a very poor start because there's a bunch of females in here. I know I'm gonna have a big job. If they have their fry, I'm going to have a big job separating some of these stuff. But that's okay. I'm willing to do the job. I am willing to do the task for the end that I'm seeking. So I know I'm going to have to have several other tanks to separate these guys. That's okay too. I did find that there was a male endler in here. Um, but I've been watching him. He's really hard to catch. But I've been watching him. And he's not acting like a male. I think he's overly um, uh, outnumbered. And so he is not acting like a male. Or he's still probably really a juvenile. And so I think it's, I think it's that one there. Maybe. It's a very nondescript... Endler with just like a little dark spot on its side. And I, I think it was a male. But anyway, I, if I can find it, I'm going to... Oh, maybe that's him up above. I'm going to have... When he starts... Yeah, that's him. When he starts acting like a male, like wanting to wanting to have um, um, a female, then I'm going to have to move him out because I cannot... Uh, I don't want that. Yeah, I think that's him. I think. But anyway, I'm going to, it's a very nondescript endler 
tiny. It doesn't even look pretty at all. It just had that dark spot on its side. So that's the update on the sh shrimp and fish scenario here. I will continue to film. That's all I'm doing. It's just filming right now. I haven't even posted or anything like that or done any editing. I'm just post. I'm just um, recording so as to maybe track the progress of this project. So that's it. Um, oh, one more thing. I'm remiss at uh, doing the recording. We now have three pure red lines in this tank. And we added one the other day, or last week it was, a survivor of this tank, because there were several red lines in here, and they, they died. And there's, so I rescued one and put him here. So now there are three. Uh, but the other day, I did find one other white and red in here. So difficult to find. So one day I will find him. And I will also move him over to this side. So then we will have four. And I'm hoping it will be a male-female combination. So I'm also hoping for um, babies. Uh, I haven't seen anything yet. So that's it. On my shrimp update, here's looking at you. Shrimpies in this tank, survivors, hardened survivors. Hopefully, it will be for the good of the shrimp community and for the good of the huge shrimp and fish farm. Thank you for watching. Fade away.